a professor in mechanical engineering department working at Federal Institute of Technology College of Engineering, Vedrao, Uttar In previous video, we had started unit number 4 joining processes and we had covered oxyacetylene gas welding. In today's lecture, we will cover arc welding processes for consumable electrodes. And in this type, we will cover three major types of arc welding processes, shielded metal arc welding, submerged arc welding, gas metal arc welding. So let's start from the first one that is shielded metal arc welding process. So this is the setup of shielded metal arc welding. In this operation, bare sections at the end of electrode this type is clamped to one terminal of the power supply here to so the AC or DC power source and control while the other terminal is connected with the part or the work piece which is being welded here the electric arc is generated by touching the tip of the coated electrode to the work piece here and then withdrawing it quickly to a distance sufficient to maintain arc. Electrodes are thin shaped long sticks. That's why this type of welding is also called stick welding. This is commonly used welding process. It generated melts a portion of the electrode state its coating and base metal in the immediate area of the arc. A weld form after molten metal solidifies in weld area. Electrode coating deoxidizes and provides a shielding gas in the weld area to protect it from oxygen. So generally gases are evolved while the combustion and that melting of weld zone takes place. So that gases heat the area or we can say it covers the area where welding is carried out to avoid or to prevent the contact of weld zone from the atmospheric oxygen to avoid the oxidation. Slag uh, should be cleaned after each weld bed which causes uh, corrosion. Brushing can be used before another weld is applied. Generally in this case uh, labor cost is higher and material cost is also higher. So that entire process is uh, described in this diagram as how the gas in the form of a shield has covered the weld zone to avoid the contact of environmental oxygen with the weld zone here. So uh, in this process current uh, is the range of the current is 50 to 300 ampere and power is uh, less than 10 kilowatts. Here the current supply is uh, too low that causes incomplete fusion and too high that can damage electrode coating and reduces its effectiveness. Now in next uh, slide here we will discuss about the advantages and disadvantages of shielded metal arc welding. So uh, in advantages generally flux shielded metal arc welding it is very simplest of all type of arc welding processes. Equipment is portable and a big range of metal and alloys can be welded in sheet metal arc welding process. Weld quality is very good and cost is fairly low. About its uh, disadvantages, mechanization is difficult due to the uh, limited length of the electrode. And uh, process is slower as compared to other processes of uh, arc welding processes and uh, metal transfer is not clear. It has a huge application as it is uh, used for fabrication work and uh, maintenance work. 
generally uh, it is employed uh, metals and alloys can be welded all commonly uh, metals and alloys can be welded and the process finds application generally it is used in uh, ship building pipes and tensile joining buildings and uh, bridge construction automotive and aircraft industry generally in all uh, aspects we find uh, its application in different fields next is uh, submerged arc welding in this uh, as uh, i will explain the diagram here this is a hopper in which flux is supplied to the well zone here this blue color represents the wire electrode that is uh, sent to the well zone by dry motor which rotates the wheel rolls here and that is controlled by the servo control system here now here there are two terminal one terminal is connected with the source of the electrode wire and second terminal is connected with the work pieces here so in this uh, uh, type of uh, submerged arc welding weld arc is shielded by granular flux now that granular flux means it consists of lime silica manganese oxide calcium chloride and other elements which are mixed in the flux which is supplied through the copper which is fed into the well zone by gravity flow through a nozzle system of the copper here the thick layer of flux completely covers the molten metal and prevents weld sputters and sparks and suppresses the intense ultraviolet radiation and fumes the flux also acts as a thermal insulator allowing deep penetration of heat into the workpiece that is the advantage of uh, submerged arc welding now uh, whatever the flux is supplied to the flux hopper to the well zone not all quantity of the flux is utilized so the unused flux is recovered using recovery tube and it is treated and reversed back to flux hopper so it can be recycled here so this is the advantage the consumable electrode generally it's a coil of uh, bare wire that has a diameter 1.5 to 10 mm and it is fed automatically through the tube that is welding gun here because flux is fed by gravity submerged arc welding process is somewhat limited to weld in the horizontal or flat positions with a backup piece circular welds also can be made on pipe provided that they are rotated during welding now uh, here the thing is uh, clear that how fuse flux can be removed over the well zone this area is coated with granular flux as we have discussed granular flux is a compound or it's a mixture of uh, different uh, materials different compounds here. so current requirement is 300 to 2000 ampere that is greater than uh, submerged a uh, shielded metal arc welding process and uh, power supply it may be single or three phase power supply requirement of uh, 440 volts uh it has the depositing range that is 4 to 10 times the amount of weld metal per hour as compared to sheet metal arc welding process So we will discuss its uh, advantages disadvantages and applications advantages of uh, this type of welding 
that it has a high deposition rate that we have just uh, discussed here that is 4 to 10 times higher than sheet metal shielded metal, metal arc welding process uh, it has a low slag consumption that is a very good thing here uh, low distortion crack formation is uh, lesser and uh, unlimited thickness of work piece then disadvantage is the coarse green structure of weld is developed and uh, toughness of the weld is lesser means uh, the capacity of uh, energy storing while uh, any mechanical working process is lesser and uh, only generally uh, vertical position is possible that is it's a limitation of uh, uh, such type of uh, welding process uh, has uh, huge applications like uh, uh, using fabrication of high pressure vessels frames of uh, heavy mechanical and hydraulic presses it's also uh, applied in rolling mill frames and uh, the frames of uh, locomotive and ship hulls. Next type of uh, arc welding process is gas. Now we will discuss gas metal arc welding. This is represented by GMAW. Earlier it was named as metal inert gas welding that is MIG welding. Now in this diagram there is a provision through which current conductor, solid wire electrodes and shielding gas passage is provided here. Here arc is provided, arc is developed with the help of the solid wire electrodes and Externally shielding gases are supplied to the weld zone area. The weld area is shielded by an external source of gas such as argon, helium, carbon dioxide or various gas mixtures. In addition, deoxidizers are usually present in electrode metal itself in order to prevent oxidation of molten metal puddle. The consumables where wire is fed automatically through a nozzle into weld arc and multiple weld layers can be deposited at the joint here. Now the metal in this process is transferred by the ways like spray transfer, globular transfer and short circuiting. The power requirement for this process is about 2 kW. Temperature is relatively low. This type of process is suitable for thin section that may be less than uh, 6 mm thickness. Higher thicknesses there will be incomplete fusion. So this is easy and common method for ferrous metals in thin sections. Now here we will discuss about advantages and disadvantages of this type of welding process. In advantages, there is no requirement of extra fluxes. Fast welding and deposition rate is higher. This is uh, almost uh, higher than the earlier discussed type of welding processes. It is easily automated welding process. It is suitable for all metals including aluminium and stainless steel. It is least expensive and highly economical process. If we talk about its disadvantages, the arc is unstable or we can say it is less stable. It generates more spatters limited to short circuit mode of uh, metal transfer. Relatively high heat and light generation takes place. Equipment uh, geometry is quite uh, complex compared with other types and it's not suitable for base metal contamination. These are applied for uh, ferrous and non-ferrous metals. This is suitable for fabrication industry. 
and uh, automotive and rebuilding welding pipes also now next is uh, electrodes for arc welding processes basically electrodes are uh, classified according to the strength of the deposited weld metal the type of current used if it is uh, alternating uh, current or direct current and the type of coating so these are the three uh, types over which uh, electrodes can be classified generally typically uh, coated electrodes are 150 mm to 460 mm long and the diameter is in the range of 1.5 mm to 8 mm these electrodes are identified by numbers letters or by color coding electrode coating electrodes are coated with the clay like material that uh, include silicate binders and powder materials such as uh, oxides carbonate chloride metal alloys cotton cellulose and wood floor uh, the coating which is uh, very brittle has some of the functions like uh, coating stabilizes the arc then uh, it generates gases to act as a shielding uh, against the surrounding atmosphere prevention from the uh, oxide formation the gases produced are carbon dioxide water vapors and small amount of uh, carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas then uh, it controls the rate uh, at which electrode melts then uh, the coating acts as a flux to protect the weld against formation of oxide nitrides and other inclusions and impurities and with the resulting slag to protect the molten weld pool from the oxidation and uh, last uh, function we will discuss here uh, add alloying uh, elements to the weld zone to enhance the properties of the joint among these uh, elements are deoxidizers to prevent the weld from becoming brittle so thank you thank you so much uh, for uh, attending the lecture in next coming lecture we will discuss arc welding for non consumable electrodes thank you so